Hello and welcome to Financial Studies. My name is Danny Topping and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the course for our new student day. So we're going to look at, very briefly, why choose Financial Studies, what makes our course special, what are the key topics and who are the teachers. So firstly, why choose Financial Studies? I think it's fair to say that everybody has some kind of interest in money, maybe some more than others but you need money to be able to live. So being good with money is really important. And this is what the course is gonna teach you to do. It's gonna show you how to manage your money effectively and get the most out of it. Personal finance is a very practical skill. So you're not just gonna be learning theory on this course, you're gonna be learning things that are gonna help you throughout your life. It's gonna help you from day one, during college, if you go to university or get a job and then beyond that this is a really important skill that everybody really should be learning about but you've got an opportunity to do that now at college the course is equivalent to an a-level so if you're successful in the course and you get the grades then that's going to help you qualify for your chosen university degree in a few years time Here's one of our students, Joe, and he's going to give you a few words about the course. Hi, my name's Joe and I study finance and I'm in lower six and I'm just coming to the end of my first year. And um, in finance, I feel that you don't just learn a subject, it's not just like any other subject, it's stuff that will be useful for you later on in life in terms of finances and managing your own finances going forward. Um, I also think my top tip for getting through your subject is make sure you are organised from the very start because you don't want to get behind with organising your work. Trust me, it, it's so much easier if you organise straight away. So I would say make sure your work's all filed in order nicely. Make sure you put dates on stuff so you know when it's from, titles. Just make sure you're organised going into it. So there's a range of careers that you can pursue using finance. So pretty much anything that's related to money and finance, this course is a really good stepping stone for that. So what makes our course special at Blackpool Sixth Form? Well, as well as, well as the fantastic teaching that you're going to receive, the materials that you're going to be learning the course through are actually used throughout the country. Now, I've spent the last couple of years developing resources for the course, and these have been so successful that I've been able to share these with teachers across the country in a range of schools and colleges. So there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of students out there who are using the, the materials that were developed for our course at Blackpool Sixth Form, which I'm very proud about. So, you're going to be learning the course through a variety of activities. So this could be uh, a little bit of pre-reading about a particular topic and you're going to do pair tasks working together also in small groups, uh, presentations particularly in the second year. So it's a variety of tasks and activities to make it interesting and enjoyable for you. Our students have improved their results over the past two years and we've got more students achieving grade A, which is fantastic to see. And we want to continue that and to have students aspiring for those highest grades. Essentially, the message is if you have the ambition to succeed on the course, then we will be here to help you in making that happen. So what are the key topics? Well, in the first year, you're going to be studying what's called the Certificate in Financial Studies. In the second year, that then becomes a diploma. Let's just look at the first year first of all. So in Unit 1, you're looking at financial capability, so personal finances, or the immediate to short term. So that's looking at your finances for every day and for the next year. Unit 2 is looking at financial capability for the medium to long term. So that's beyond the, the next year and looking further ahead, five, 10, even 25 years down the line. So in unit one, you're gonna be looking at what's called the personal life cycle. So this is a, a model we use to understand the key events 
throughout different stages of your life. I'm just going to be looking at everyday banking, savings and borrowing products, consumer protection, budgeting and cash flow, and unexpected events. In unit two, we're going to build on what you've learned from unit one and looking at it from a more longer term perspective. So again, we're looking at those core financial products, savings and investments, borrowing products, and also looking at ethical issues and sustainability. So here are the teachers. We currently have three on the course. So that's me, Danny Topping. I also teach A-level business. Steve Scatterson also teaches BTEC business, as well as doing the, the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. And Sarah Whitaker so also teaches BTEC business and uh, is part of the Career Ready program. So we have prepared some activities for you to give you a taste of the course. So we've got a few tasks ready for you to, to have a go at. Activity one, this is about the importance of young people learning about personal finance. So there's an article for you to read and to create some summary notes on. And this is gonna help you for your first assessment in September. So it's gonna give you a bit of, bit of a practice on that. Activity two, this is based on a short case study about a teenager's finances during lockdown. So this might be something that uh, you might be able to relate to yourselves. And there's also an extension task if you're really up for the challenge, another case study for you to have a look at about a young adult during lockdown. So please do have a really good go at those tasks. I'm gonna give you a really good insight into the kind of things you can expect on the course and do send us a copy of it as well. There's the email address there for you. And the best examples we're gonna post on our Instagram, so follow us on there at um, I Love B Sits, and we hope to see as much of your work as possible. So thank you for your attention during this short presentation. If you do have any questions about the course, please feel free to email me anytime and stay safe and see you all soon. Thank you.